Hey guys, it's Phoenix. Not too long ago I made Minecraft 2D, which is a projection of a 3D Minecraft space in a 2D Minecraft world. So it is a flat plane, as you can see, where the player is looking in a single direction and you move left and right. And before that, I actually made 3D crafting in Minecraft, where I allowed the player to craft things, but you have to do it in a 3x3x3 area. Both of which are obviously extremely tedious and unnecessary. In Minecraft 4D, we use tesseracts and not cubes. Phoenix, you did 2D Minecraft, now you have to do 4D. And that is exactly what I did, except I don't want to show you guys this yet. Let me uh, reset this. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, I've modeled a tesseract in Minecraft, which is as extreme and stressful as it sounds. You know, it's really hard to explain this because spatially speaking, 4D doesn't work. There's no such thing as a fourth dimension in a spatial environment. To provide you with an example of what I'm talking about, this is a tesseract, which is a hypercube with four dimensions. So what you're seeing is a rotation of something on your 2D screen, but it's given a third dimension, of course, giving it some depth. But then you're adding a fourth dimension within the three dimensional cube and it's rotating on all axes. So you can see some of these simulations online, but basically what I'm gonna say here is that there is no such thing as a fourth dimension, spatially speaking. This is simply a projection of four dimensions. So here is your Tesseract in Minecraft. This is a 3D space, but if I go outside of the 3D space, you can see, whoops, let me restart there. You can see a fourth dimension above the 3D space and it's shuffling through each other, it's rotating around. And what you have at the very end, after all the rotations are complete for the first cycle, it's going to take a while. <laughs> As they come through together, it's going to be a little bit laggy. But the end result will be a completely different 3D space because the, the ZW axis has rotated through into the 3D plane. It's actually kind of mirrored now, but it's not, it's not the same. This Tesseract is going to map a different region within Minecraft. Each one is going to map a different area and the W axis, the ZW axis up there, is a different area as well. I can't grab it. I can't really see it at the moment. I, I have Quake Pro on because I want to try and render everything, but it's still really hard. There was a door. There's a door right up there. There are two doors, three doors, and they're going straight through into this 3D area, the three-dimensional space and it's going to shuffle around. I'm going to try and get something else because I think it's easier to tell when you have something more familiar to look at. Okay, so I found a spot here, let's try this. So we've got a bed right here, and we've got a couple of white beds over here too. And now they're gonna move around, they're gonna rotate around as the Tesseract rotates around the uh, two axes that I programmed in. And after they all sort of go through the player, because all the planes are going to cross through the cross section. So clearly the ones that are rendered as the surface, the surface area, they can go through the player. And now you can see the beds have gone and shifted outside into the fourth dimension. You can't actually access that bed now. Right here, I think the white bed should be able to be accessed by the player again. Right there, okay. So there's the bed. Now <laughs> I walked and now it's rendered something else. Yeah, so you can see that as the player moves around, it's just rendering different blocks. And if I just go into F5 mode, that's what it looks like. It's a complete mess of blocks as they rotate through. So let's reset. I actually had a lot of trouble even constructing the Tesseract to begin with because I had to impose a fourth dimension in a three dimensional space, which is not easy to do. And looking at the simulations that I had, I couldn't even grasp the idea of having a fourth dimension just weave within the third dimension as it's rotating. I'm speaking a lot of jargon at the moment, but I think if you did a lot of research, which I did uh, to do this, um, I'm speaking a lot of gibberish, which is tough. Um, what are these? There are two gaps here. I think those are doors or maybe water? I don't know. Some blocks won't render because they're fake and you can't actually hold them in an armor stand. That's what it is, of course. You can see that I'm using uh, glass blocks to render the air blocks because I want to actually visualize it while I was doing this. You can turn it off by doing scroll player set, so show air zero. 
And if I, yeah, there we go. So now you can see that the air blocks are gone. And now you just have this. So it's not as impressive, it doesn't look as great. Because most of the stuff that you're walking through is air. So if you actually visualize it, you can see the entire rotation as it happens. Alright, so here I've exited the village. I'm inside a cave and, well, <laughs> as I move around, the, the reality is constantly shifting around me. And I think if I just go here, wow, that is a mess. So there's a tree. I'm Obviously, there's a tree right where I am. If I just reset, now we've got another cave with a bunch of dirt. Not really a cave, it's just a mountain. There's your tree again. Nice. And so, there. So, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I think there's a mountain coming through. I th well, it's relatively the same, actually, this area. Let's see. I try, try to find some different places. So, okay, now I'm actually inside a mountain. So here's my attempt at rendering a desert temple using the Tesseract. And you can see as I move around, it is constantly trying to update or map the Desert Pyramid. If I just do this, you can see the fourth dimension just outside as it shifts right through. So I'm in a desert, so it's really not that interesting. Um, yeah, there's not much going on here. Let's find... I think with sufficient lag, you can see the rendering of the outer layer just outside the 3D cube as it's trying to reposition itself because it's trying to follow the player, but it can't if I'm moving fast enough because there's a lot of mathematical application to this, so it's kind of laggy. But, um, yeah, you can kind of see the fourth dimension as trying to weave its way within as it's rotating, but there is another village right here. You can see they've got the path blocks, and there's nothing above me. It's just pure air, and <laughs> we've got the fence gates, we've got the house now. It's trying to map the village as I'm moving around. There's just so much going on. So, I will leave this world for you guys to download. I wanted to make this I've got an orange bed. Um, I'll, I wanted to make this a downloadable data pack, but it's just, it's too much work. And I don't think you can really apply this to any other world. You can, but there's a lot of setting up to do. And it's not as dynamic or modular as I wanted it to be. It's, it's just really difficult. So there you go. This is your 4D Tesseract in Minecraft or a simulation of it. Um, I know it doesn't rotate in all of the axes, but honestly... If you looked into the data pack, you'd know that I tried it, but um, I vetoed it immediately after all the lag that ensued. It's so laggy still, but um, either way, I know some of the comments that you guys made were in irony or jest, but I took it seriously. I did some research, and I, I kind of got it to work, mathematically speaking, but you know that 4D doesn't work in a spatial sense. It is impossible. We live in a 3D environment. So... Uh, if you guys want to have a look at this, you can. Um, there are some other really nice places to explore with this Tesseract, but uh, I really can't model it all in this video as I move around, because some of it is just impossible. But, um, you know, I, I have to look around a lot, which is a lot of work. But here you have enough environments to kind of get a sense of what it's like. So there we have it. I'm going to reset it because it's still <laughs> so much processing going on. But there you go. Uh, this is the glass structure that it all began with. And we've got some nice trees right here as I move around. And can I get the logs? Can I? Nah, I can't. Can't quite get all the trees, can I? Well, acacia trees are hard to really get there. But thank you all for watching. Leave a like, subscribe for more creative content. Take care.